Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to print your own decoupage paper for decoupaging clay doll dresses or you can decoupage ornaments. It is really handy, especially if you want to match up to your own fabric or ribbon. So at the end of this tutorial, I will pop a link to the tutorial I made on how to print your own canvas for hair bows so you can really match your clay dolls to your fabric. I'm going to be designing my sheet on my iPhone and I use the app Canva. I will pop a link to this in the description below. And then this is what it looks like upon opening the Canva app. As you can see, I've got some recent designs here because I use this all the time for my YouTube thumbnails. And here you've got all your different layouts. You've got logos, Facebook cover story, but I'm going to be printing on A4 paper today. So I want the A4 document. So I'm going to select that now and then create a blank. You have got all these different designs on here preset, but we're going to be designing on blank. Now, when this piece comes up, if you just slide down from the top, so where that little dash is at the top, you can just slide down and that will get rid of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up a web browser on Safari. And as you can see, I've already got up this website, vecdeasy.com. I will also link this in the description below. This is a really good website for finding images which are royalty free, meaning you can use them in your products and not have to have a license to sell them. So in the search bar at the top here, I'm going to search for sunflower pattern because that is one of the first designs that I would like on my decoupage. And then as you can see, these are the results. Some of them have got free on and some haven't. The free ones are the free license and the others require for you to purchase a license in order to use them. So we're going to apply a filter and select free license and then apply the filter at the top there. And then as you can see, these are all now showing me just the royalty free images. Now there are some gorgeous designs on here but I've already seen one that I like. So I'm gonna go back up and I love this one here. So I'm going to select that. And then what you need to do is go on free download. And when you select free download, you can see there you can purchase a pro license or the free license. The free license, it says you need an attribution required, which means basically if you use the image, you just have to say, that you got it from vecteasy.com. So you can download the image or an easy way of found if I go back to the image. So back to the image where it says free download. We're not going to press free download, just simply press and hold on the image. And then as you can see, it says add to photos. So I'm going to select that and that is now saved on my phone in my camera roll. So now we've got our first image. I'm going to go back to my Canva app and we're on our blank page and then at the bottom here where this plus sign is press on that and then across the bottom you've got all these options we need to go to camera and this will take us to our camera roll and then i'm going to press all at the top and then when i press all that brings up the sunflower images that i've saved in my camera roll so i'm going to press on that and then add to page and then as you see it comes up quite big but you can drag on the corner and resize it because this is going to be decoupage for a clay doll, I want this quite small because I'm going to be using them on clay doll dresses, which are small. If you're doing a bigger image, you can cover the whole page if you want, but I'm gonna do a few different designs on here today for my clay doll dresses. So with my sunflower image highlighted at the bottom here, as you can see, there's some options. I'm going to duplicate this because I'm going to make a seamless pattern. And to make a seamless pattern, Canva does help, as you can see, you can just line them up. So if I duplicate the next one and then line it up underneath, you see these little red dotted lines come up as you touch the edge and that shows that it's in line. And as you can see, you've got this beautiful seamless pattern. So I'm going to go ahead now and create a few different designs on this paper and then I will come back and show you what I've made. So as you can see, I've done seven strips of different patterns. And like I said before, these are to decoupage little two to three inch clay dolls. So these little strips will do many clay dolls. So that is why I've done it this way. 
You will also notice that I've left a blank strip just across the top. The bottom I've left blank as well, but that's for no particular reason. But the reason I leave the top blank is because if it does feed through the printer slightly incorrectly, it usually just messes up at the top. So that is why I've just left that top bit blank. Now I've got my napkins here. They are just a two ply plain white napkin from my local supermarket. I've got some ordinary A4 printing paper and some sellotape. And what we're going to do first of all is we're going to unfold this napkin. And as it is two ply, you don't need it as a two ply. So just find the corner and separate the two pieces. So just pull them apart and then you can fold up that piece and save it for another print. And then as you can see, there are some creases in this. You can iron them out if you're using one big piece for say an ornament, like decoupage on a bottle, for example. You could try laying a tea towel or a towel over the top of this and giving it an iron. But for my little clay dolls, I don't bother ironing the creases out. So I'm taking my paper and laying it over the top of my tissue paper, first of all. Now I've got mine upside down, so this is actually the bottom and this end is going to be the top. And I'm going to line the bottom end up with my paper. So as you can see, I've lined my paper up with which will be the bottom. And then this end, which will be the top, you want to fold the napkin and wrap it around the paper. So I'm folding it over the top edge of the paper, keeping it flush with the paper and pressing down to get a nice crease in the top there so there's no bumps or ridges and then I'm going to slightly fold this corner at an angle and then fold this inner side in like that and then the same with the opposite end so bringing this top corner and folding it diagonally just a little bit and then folding it around the paper so you're basically wrapping the print and paper in the napkin and then I'm just going to lay something on there just to hold it down these napkins I'll just lay that on there to hold this down whilst I get off a piece of my tape you could use mask and tape but I'm just using the cellar tape today so I'm going to get a piece of tape almost as wide as my A4 paper but not overly wide so just move off these napkins now and I'm going to tape down this top end, catching the two bits that come in from the side as well. I'm going quite close to the top, not too close, just to hold that in place and pressing it down and smoothing that out. And then we're going to tape another little bit just across this top here, just to give it a little bit more sturdiness. And as you can see, you need to aim for a very smooth top part because that is the bit that will feed through your printer and we're basically trying to fool our printer if you like that we are just putting ordinary paper in when in fact it is a napkin covered piece of paper so like i said i'm just putting another bit of tape on now not right to the very tip of the paper but close and that will just give it a little bit of structure and making sure that it is smooth and crisp along that top end and now we're going to tape these two sides down. I didn't bother putting any tape at the bottom because that part doesn't matter as long as it's nice and snug around the paper, at the top and the sides, so we can get it to feed through the printer. So now we've got that ready, we can get our design ready to print. The printer that I use is an inkjet printer. It's the Canon Pixma MG3650S and I load my paper with the tape side facing towards the printer and obviously the napkin has to face downwards in this particular printer. And I'm just feeding it in, making sure it's snug and then pulling the feed tray down. And then back to Canva and our design. First of all, we need to save our design to the camera roll. So at the top here, you've got this arrow. You want to select that and then save as image and then that will save to your camera roll. So going back to our camera roll now, I've got my image up and I'm going to press on the arrow at the bottom here. And then you'll get this menu come up. You want to scroll up 
to where it says print and as you can see it says the name of my printer at the top there because it's a wireless printer I'm going to select A4 paper size and then media and quality I'm going to select that and put it on best quality for printing and then select print it says it's low on ink it always says that because I'm not using genuine ink so ignore that so now it should now send to the printer and print out our design. So our paper is now feeding through as you can see and unfortunately it has folded slightly on those top corners. This is why I leave the blank space at the top because sometimes this does happen because at the end of the day we are feeding through our printer something that really shouldn't be feeding through it. And as you can see, a little bit of the ink has bled because of the folding of the paper. But hopefully, because we've left that gap, most of so our print will be saved. And by print, the looks of it, as you can see, it has it is a lovely, a vibrant lovely print quality, print there, considering and it's, it's only just that a top little part paper that is napkin. ruined. So we've still got plenty on there that we can use. And this is such a good thing to be able to do. Like printing your own decoupage paper is so handy because I can now print out designs to match my ribbon that I've already got or I can print out my own canvas fabric and match to my clay dolls perfectly. And here is the finished sheet. As you can see where it curled at the top it has caused a little bit of ink bleeding but most of the print is absolutely fine. It's just where it fed through the machine and it got a little bit caught up but look at the colours considering it has just been printed on a paper napkin it really is lovely and vibrant. So all that's left to do now is to remove the napkin away from the paper. So to do that, I will just flip this over and run the scissors around the edges just to remove the napkin from the paper. If you've used mask and tape, that can be just sort of peeled away. So now I'm going to link a couple of tutorials for you guys. This one here is how to decoupage the clay dolls. And I will also pop another one in the corner on a bow that I made to match my clay doll. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments below. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this tutorial, do hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.